Hey there, um, this is me painting and I'm going to talk a bit about what I learned while I was doing this painting. Um, so the first thing that's awesome, obviously, is that I moved studio and you get to see how much light there is in my new studio and it's, uh, it's so good. There's like three times as many windows. I love it. Um, so this painting is the second painting I did at that kind of new size where it's like square and, and, and bigger than I was painting before and I really love seeing the way that like at this kind of square format and at this size you really get to like yeah feel like you can uh, fall into um, fall into the painting and, and like really yeah kind of get enveloped in the scene I guess uh, but the main kind of experience I had painting this was uh, this was the first painting that I did where I like after I'd learned basically about scumbling and what scumbling was so uh, this is like my first scumble painting I guess um, and so uh, if you so for those of you who don't know what scumbling is it is an excellent word and I recommend using it as often as you can um, basically the idea of scumbling is it's a oil painting technique where you kind of paint uh, like opaque like um, not see-through pigment like the whites there you can see in the painting the whites and some of the other kind of grays and and browns you paint it but you you paint it in such a way that it's kind of like dry brushing almost where like um you can kind of see underneath through it so it's not transparent but you can see through underneath because of how you rub it on does that make any sense i don't know if that makes any sense but that's what scumbling is and what's cool about it is if you if you combine combine scumbling which is not transparent layers rubbed on so you can kind of see through with the other technique which is glazing which i've talked about before which is my favorite thing to do glazing is fully transparent layers that kind of sit on top and 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 are like um cellophane i guess that's so it's like it it changes the color of what's underneath it if you do layers of glazing and layers of scumbling and you go back and forth between the two what you get is like traditional oil painting surprise um but what i'm like i'm so fascinated with this um with that kind of technique and i'm by no means amazing at it but it's really fun to learn because um i think what i what i'm like obsessed with is like I don't know, like, the more I think about this one particular technique of painting, the more I think that, like, like the people, the, the hundreds of years of people who invented oil painting were just, like, ah, uh, that... You know, they had this cool idea where they, um... So, like, if you paint... A, what am I trying to say? If you paint a person's face, right... Um, and you go, like, some layer of scumbling, which is kind of milky or, like kind of see through but but some of the light gets blocked and then on top of that is this fully clear layer and then on top of that is more of this kind of half kind of scumbled layer and then on top of that is more glazing what happens is the light comes in to the painting and like the photons go into the painting and through the layers and some of the photons um get absorbed by the opaque stuff and some get reflected and refracted around inside the painting they bounce around and they come back and hit you in the eye and you get this amazing sense of like like that is what happens when light hits someone's face in real life that's what a photon does is it moves around you know it goes into the first few layers of skin and it bounces around and then um it comes back and it hits you in your eye and it's like that's why people's skin looks the way it does because of this like effect of like light coming into the first few layers and bouncing and coming out again and like this kind of oil painting actually simulates that it's like it's flipping amazing so that's what i learned Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can subscribe to the channel and then get notified every time I post a new video. Um, if you know anyone else who might enjoy these videos, obviously share it with them. That would be awesome. Um, and if you have any questions about painting, you can just leave them in the comments below and we can work out the answer together so we both get better. I'll see you in two weeks.